Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zaz Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today. April 4th, 2024. What a crazy day. As you can see on the daily chart, outside bar all the way from, let's see, what's the high here? 5308.50 to the low of 51.94. That's $100 and something. Um, as you can see, whipped past the 21 EMA and almost made it down to our support line here at 5200 um, well actually went through it just a tad bit uh, at the 5194 so broke through the yellow anyways crazy day crazy outside day a lot to go over um, technically now this is finally a uh, break of this channel so we'll see if we get some support down here congestion and then will it make its way back up or will we start breaking down and testing other key support levels at like 4,900, 5,000, etc. We'll see what happens. Um, crazy day, so let's go over to the 2,000 tick chart. Okay, over here at the 2,000 tick chart, as you can see, quite, quite big sell-off. Um, in the morning session, it was pretty, pretty boring, nothing too crazy. Um, you had a couple trades, but nothing nearly as good as some, once this thing started going and selling off, selling off. So let's go into it. Let's uh, let's go over these trades. Change my cursor. So pre-market session, I didn't see anything that I um, would have liked to get into here. As you can clearly see, it's holding above the 21 EMA here. Broke yesterday's high and went higher. Market opens at 9:30, right here. My time line uh, and then the first trade comes which I see here which is a double top and a lower high this high is lower than the previous high I think that's a decent trade right there it's a very low risk bar plenty of room back to the EMA and or support and it goes off all the way back down to another major congestion support so I think that's not too bad of a trade there that lower high and then it kind of just sells off here get a couple legs to a new low there is you know a trend channel here but I can kind of just see it so I didn't draw it then the next trade comes a while after um, about 30 minutes after actually 40 minutes and you get a triple test here now I wouldn't mind you drawing your uh, congestion box here like this just to see one two three triple test outside bar wait for it to break and put your stop order one tick below. You have room here for exactly um, two points and get that. So that's not too bad of a trade there. You definitely have to be patient with it and look for a really good signal bar and that's it right there. Again, they would just start chopping sideways again, nothing too crazy. You get this nice little ascending triangle, break, double bottom here, one, two, three, four, five, Sorry, one, two, three, four matching low bars here, as you can see at that. Let's see, what level is that? That is 52.9350. Then all of a sudden, we just start getting a nice bull trend higher. And right above the EMA, just bull bars consistently closing. Um, we have a couple losses today that I still think are pretty good within the system. And I think we do get overshoot of this trend channel as well. Depending on how you drew it. So I drew it like this. I think you could have also drawn it like this and then you could say break a couple legs to a new high um, I think this one is pretty accurate as well though um, this is kind of the thing with the trend channels is a little subjective um, but nonetheless you get a triple test right here this is a great signal bar it's right at one two three I mean it doesn't get any better than that um, unfortunately it just loses which is totally fine you do have those losses sometimes and I will point them out in the chart reviews but um, yeah so you have a triple test there I'd still take that any day uh, you get a loss, then you get an overshoot trap. So most of the time, even though if you do find a really good setup and you do take a small loss in it a couple candles later, most of the time it's just like a trap or something and you kind of do get another opportunity to get in, which you do here, one, two, three, matching bar high, outside bar, well, technically not outside bar, but one, two, three, matching bar high, closing way on its lows. Um, you can enter one tick below that. And basically just overshoot trap of this triple test is how I saw it. Um, and then you get a little sell-off here 
and so you never do get a break in new high that's why I was like well this might just be a failed um, this might just be a failed break out of this trading range here so again a couple ways to sit to see it a couple ways to debate it get a first entry second entry long but three congested bars here as you can see all doji bars don't see that too often um, goes up huge red signal box huge red signal red signal bar uh, selling all the way out as low as no wick bar as you can see also pretty rare to see then this thing just takes off you unfortunately I just do not see any way to get into this amazing downtrend um, you can see price way above the 21 sorry way below the 21 EMA um, you get a first entry pulls back you get a second entry it closes but then you got support so I don't think you can take that I mean, you do get this like small little bear flag formation pattern. If you saw that, maybe, I don't know. Um, I just don't see any way to get in here, unfortunately. And it was really annoying to watch this thing sell all the way off and then <laughs> not get in it. Um, again, you get a first entry, second entry, third entry. Uh, it's just all congested. It's very overlapping. Um, yeah, so sadly, you just don't get any way to see, uh, get in here. Nonetheless, it sells off, sells off, sells off. We keep selling off, we keep selling off, we keep selling off. Um, and then you get a, finally you get a break. So when you get your break here, we're all the way out of a new low of day. And then we get a first entry, pulls back second entry. And again, just one of those times where um, you are expecting a new low. It looks like a great setup. Some would argue it's um. Oh, it's congested across the board here. You know, I'm not shy to say that sometimes the trades just don't work. That's just how it is with all trading. You can never win 100%, and I still point those out. So I still think this is a great second entry. You have a break. You have a 1, 2, 3 matching bar high. It comes up. It fails. You stop order. Yeah, and then, you know, that just happens. And golfing bar stops you out. Just happens. But, like, again, with the triple test, sometime, a little while later, usually a couple candles later, it's a trap. And you get um, a con contextual based trading signal that gives you a chance to get back in, which you do here. You can argue a one, two, three triple test, or I see it as a double top. And then you get a first entry, second entry, third entry, fourth entry, that one, two, three, four wedge pattern um, across the board there. Also, just basically a bear flag. Um, good signal bar closing on its lows, low risk. Whoops, and yeah, double trap. Sorry, double top trap of that second entry short. No big deal. Huge sell off again. Unfortunately, just no way to get in here. Um, you do get this uh, break, a couple likes to a new low. You get a first entry, second entry. It's just not a good enough signal bar, and it never broke higher. I don't like these inside matching double top highs anymore. I don't think they're accurate enough. I like to see it break higher, then turn one tick, at least break of the previous bar as your signal bar. So. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else to get in here. We get a little move higher. We finally start making higher highs. Um, there is a trend channel here as well. If you could see that, you could draw on this a few different ways. It all depends on how you want to draw them. Um, then you get a first entry. It pulls back. Second entry. Um, long. And technically, this does work. But you're way below EMA. You can see how many bars are rejected off the EMA right here. So I think that's a very aggressive setup. Even though you're at support and it does work. Um, you're also really just not looking for longs in such a strong bearish downtrend. Then it goes down. Makes a new low of day. Resets the count. You also get a first entry. Pulls back. Second entry. And it fails. So you might enter on that bar. Again, I think it's a little congested. You get a new low of day and then you start getting a nice rally up here you get a nice trend up break first entry pulls back second entry short definitely do not take that second entry short with that many overlapping bars and right at the EMA like that flat um, major congestion overlapping bars you get this outside bull bar closing on its high and then that's when you see that you know depending on how you want to draw it you could do a one to three triple test or if you drew it like this first entry second entry third entry fourth entry short also a failed breakout um, one two three triple test and you're sweating it gets almost one tick above your uh, entry bar here 
Um, but yeah, doesn't stop you out. Then you also get another opportunity to add to the position if you want with this uh, red signal bar as well. Three matching bar high, one tick below, stop order. I think that would work too. But yeah, um, right at the key entry point of that trend channel, sells off. You get a first entry, pulls back. You do get a second entry long right here. Again, if you want to take these, be my guest. I think it's just super risky and such a downward move. So I didn't mark any of these second entry longs that are in here as these two like uh, pullbacks. I also just saw this as a first entry, pulls back second entry, and it fails. So it's a failed second entry long. Um, you have to wait a little bit for this failed second entry long. But nonetheless, it does work out. And then you also get another repeat pattern as well. You get a, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so then you get a first entry, pulls back, second entry long as well. That bar did tick it by one tick higher. Um, another failed second entry long. You're going right into the new low of day, but I mean, this thing just keeps making breaks, new low of days, new low of days. So I think you can expect that. And I think that's a reasonable trade, especially with price being so far rejected off the EMA. You could also argue for another, looking for a, um, break new low of that trend channel as well. There's all these micro trend channels. I just don't have them all uh, marked up because the chart would be insane with lines everywhere. Um, so then you have, yeah, another first entry. So I'm going to just show you that one more time. First entry long, pulls back. Second entry long, major red bearish bar closing on its low. Again, resets the count because you have a new swing high. First entry, pulls back. Second entry, tries bull tries once, twice, and they fail. Stop order one tick below. Um, you have to be very quick with your orders here for today because price was moving very fast. With such a high ATR, we're at 3.34, which is good for getting two points and or more, um, but nonetheless. Then you get a first entry, pulls back, second entry long, another two measured move down. Sorry, not measured move. Um, Two-legged pullback. If you want to take those trades, go for it. Um, okay, so then we get another, again, there's a lot of micro trend channels here. You get a break, new high. You get a one, two, three. You get a triple test right at the key entry points. One, two, three. Great signal bar closing on slow. One tick below that. Um, go with that. Then it again just sells off here. Gets a new low of day. You get a hidden second entry short here. And you get a. Um, so on a smaller time frame, you would see break uh, a, a two legged pullback right at the key entry point. Good signal bar. Hidden second entry short right there. It's an aggressive setup because you have to know what a hidden second entry short is. And if you know, you know. Okay, so after you see this hidden second entry short at this key entry point, it just starts making new low of days, new low of days. And then this is where basically for the rest of the day where the trades come in for I took. And we'll go over those real quick. Price action, again, was very fast. So you had to be quick with it. Um, I see this double top hidden second entry short. So, as you can see here, uh, hidden second entry short would be first entry, pulls back, breaks higher. I enter one tick below this outside bar, signal bar, great bearish bar. Um, go for two points, get the two points. So, double top hidden second entry short. Let me zoom in here. Then I see this lower high form. Again, get in here, go for two points. Two point stop. Um, I keep. I saw this major low of day break, 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 break. So I am going into the new low of day, but I was pretty confident that this would break and make another new low of day, and it did. Then you get um, another first entry, second entry long. You do get a higher low here. The signal bar is not good, but you might have taken that. Um, then I see this second entry short. Um, so I see this uptrend, first entry, pulls back. This actually breaks higher, then turns down. So I entered one tick below this bar at 5203.25, right there. And I go for two points right back to the support, which I get. So that was an engulfing bar. So I entered on the engulfing bar, um, and I saw it breaking out of the trend channel. I thought this would be resistance, and it did come back. Um, looking back at it, I think it's an aggressive trade. But nonetheless, um, with I think I think it is an aggressive trade, especially with this higher low context and price holding above 21 EMA here. Um, I would have only entered it on the engulfing bar, of course, 
Um, you, there's no way you can enter it on the outside uh, bar one tick below. There's you're right into the support, right into the 21 EMA. So I think that's the only case to be made here with this bar. Would I have taken it again? I still like the first entry, second entry short on the engulfing bar. Um, then you get a first entry, pulls back. You get a second entry long here. I just don't like the signal bar. Um, I was thinking about taking because I did see um, this could have been a possible break new high, which I was right about that. Looking at the second entry short, I thought it was more like this with the trend channel, break new high. <sighs> I don't know. Those trend channels are kind of subjective. Um, let me know your thoughts on them, though. Then I see this uh, huge rally up, so I saw two measured moves up, as you can see. A little bit above it. Um, then I see this downtrend, and I tried basically the same thing here. Um, I, just, I thought I saw a lower high, it breaks up, and then as it, I did one stop order below it, and I tried to do basically just a lower high. Um, I messed up on this one. I don't think I should have taken this at all. This was right into the 21 EMA, right at support. I, I think I messed this up. Um, nonetheless, I then see a break new low. And so I see a first entry long pulls back. And I see a second entry long good signal bar right at a key entry point of this uh, support right here. And I have my uh, break new low. And again, go for two points. So those are the trades that I took for today. Five total trades, five of the max. Um, four wins, one loss. Not too bad of a day. There's a lot of good trades. It was just very hard to read um, the overall price structure. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this chart review. Let me know how your guys' trades went in the comment section below. Haven't had a crazy day like this in a very long time. So yeah, love to know in the comment section below. Alrighty, see you guys tomorrow.